Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Loose Cannon. He made his first appearance in Action Comics Annual, issue number five, that was released in September of 1993. His real name is Edward Walker, and he's a powerful mutate that stands five feet, 10 inches tall, yet in his super powered form stands seven feet five, while typically weighing 170 pounds, although he can grow to be 725 pounds. Also having blue eyes and brown hair, that is until he powers up and his hair turns yellow. Now, Edward developed powers during the Bloodlines storyline. This was due to his metahuman genes being activated by an alien parasite, which resulted in his power levels having a wide range. Interestingly, he has anywhere from low level to far beyond vast superhuman strength, durability, and stamina, as well as significant superhuman speed and agility. He was originally only able to turn into his loose cannon persona at night, although this is no longer the case. Now, all of these abilities incrementally increase the angrier he gets, which clearly shows that he's an homage to Marvel's Hulk especially since he gets progressively uncontrollable the angrier he gets. However, uniquely, he steps up in four different increments, with his base level loose cannon form being a rich blue color, and from there he steps up to purple, then red, and lastly pure white. And while in this final form, he's in a pure berserker rage and is completely uncontrollable. And he's then considered strong enough to be more than a match for most Kryptonians, particularly Superboy and the Eradicator. And just to add one little cherry on top, he also has a considerable healing factor. Now, we first see Edward working with the Metropolis Special Crimes Unit as a homicide detective. Here, his unruly tactics garnered him the name Loose Cannon. Well, that is until he was crippled in a serious car accident, which resulted in him getting a desk job. This stifled his typically outgoing personality, and it would lead to him slipping into depression until he was pulled out by a coworker named Maggie Sawyer. And it did help that he was given a new job investigating the recent murders in the suicide slums of Metropolis. However, Eddie would learn the hard way that these murders were being carried out by an alien parasite named Lizzick, who was getting nourishment from the spinal fluids of Metropolis' citizens. And this disgusting xenomorph-looking creature would actually attack Eddie. But as I stated earlier, he didn't die due to his metahuman genes being activated. With this powerful new form he could take on, Eddie would be the new kid on the block in Metropolis, having a few misguided run-ins with some of the surrounding heroes, but eventually teaming up with Eradicator to eliminate Lissick and other parasites. Going by the moniker Loose Cannon and fighting alongside other superhumans named New Bloods. Overall, Loose Cannon would have various different adventures, with us even seeing him make an appearance during the Infinite Crisis, assisting Oracle and other heroes against the secret society of supervillains and their wild plans to release the populations of the Slab Penitentiary and Bloodhaven Penitentiary. But it may be best if you keep him on light duty, because you wouldn't want him to get angry. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. Now, for his powers and abilities, and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Loose Cannon a rating of 8, which is an unforgettable rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new series.